Aloha UH sports fans, I'm Amanda Tawali'i with HTV and I'm here with UH softball pitcher Stephanie Ricketts. Stephanie, you and all of your siblings are Division One athletes. What is it like being part of such an athletic family? Well, having all of my siblings play Division One athletics, obviously we were really competitive growing up and it benefited me a lot because on days when I didn't want to practice or I didn't want to go out, oh, one of them was always going to the gym, going to pitch, and just having my sister be a pitcher with me, there was always someone to talk to, and that just really took a lot of like the burden off of going out every day to go practice pitching because it was fun at the same time. So growing up, did you play other sports, and how did you get into softball? Growing up, I played soccer, swimming, basketball, and softball. And I actually, I loved swimming and I hated softball when I was younger, but my parents knew we were gonna be like the best in softball, I guess. And so one summer they told me I was gonna quit swimming and focus on softball and I was really upset about that. But obviously they knew what they were talking about and I love softball now, so they're onto something. So your jersey number is number 10. Uh, is there a significance to that? Yes, all, both of my sisters are number 10. Um, I chose it originally in travel ball so that I never, if I ever lost my jersey, I could just borrow one of theirs and no one would notice and my parents wouldn't have to buy, keep buying number 10 jerseys, so we just kept it. Uh, this year you're a junior, you've taken on more of a leadership position on the team. What has that been like? It hasn't really been that hard to become a leader just because being a pitcher, you that already is a leadership role, and it's just more now of just being verbalizing it instead of just doing it on the field. On the mound, you're known for uh, a bit of a game face that you have out there. Like, can you talk a little bit about that? I apparently when I'm pitching, I look really mean, and I mean I don't have a problem with that. I don't want other teams to think I'm nice obviously, but there have been some people come up to me and talk to me and then after a few minutes realize who I am and they're just like, you're the pitcher, you look really mean on TV. So, I don't know, it's kind of kind of embarrassing sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, you're, you're a great asset on the mound um, and this year you've been able to get a few at-bats in there. How does that feel and what kind of mindset do you take to the plate as opposed to on the mound? Getting at bats, it's always fun. I have was a hitter all coming into to college before that, and just when I go on the mound, I'm always focusing on holding the other team down, but then when I go up to bat, it's more of just continuing our at bats and just focusing more on like getting on base so the person behind me can have it at bat, and it's really more of like a team focus. What's your favorite part about playing for Hawaii? My favorite part about playing for Hawaii is um, there's a lot, actually. I really like our fans. We have a lot of really dedicated fans who always come out and always support us, even if we're going through rough times. And the coaches and our girls, just playing with them all, it's, it's really nice to be playing with a bunch of people who are as competitive as you are. What have you learned about yourself over the past three years that you've been in Hawaii? I think what I learned most is to believe in myself more because throughout high school I wasn't confident in myself because I thought if you were confident you were cocky and now I realize that there's a total difference and having confidence is one of the most important things in softball. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to do a lot of things in my free time. I go to the mall, I go to the movies, I go to the beach, I really like playing words with friends with my teammates on my phone. Yep. <laughs> what would some people be surprised to learn about you? Um, they'd be surprised to know that after I graduate, I'm with my degree in psych, I'm going to go to nursing school and try and become a psych nurse. Very cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk story with us, and um, good luck with the rest of your season. Thanks.